It's the first day of May, and spring has arrived in earnest. Joined by my wife Kay, and daughter Jade, we're visiting Sledmere House and Gardens. Only 18 miles from home, it's hard to believe we haven't been here before. I'm using my all-terrain power chair, so I'm not expecting any real problems getting around. It's unlikely to be able to get far in the house, so we've arranged to borrow a manual wheelchair to do that. Entry is gained through the historic stable block, which is still used today for the beautiful Shire horses, as you'll see. As you can see, the main courtyard is cobbled. No problem for my chair, but as we find later, not great for a basic manual chair with supermarket trolley front wheels. This is William, one of the Sledmere Shire horses. An impressive creature that looks much bigger from my viewpoint. He seems keen to eat my headrest, so I make a hasty exit. Now we go outside to see the collection of rare breed farm animals. The spring lambs are always a joy to see. Then we look at the pigs and their piglets, before meeting a friendly goat. We move on into the grounds, where we catch our first glimpse of Sledmere House. It's an impressive sight. I'm looking forward to seeing the interior later on. But before we do that, we're exploring the walled gardens and grounds to enjoy the fresh air and spring flowers. I'll let you enjoy the view while we make our way around. As always, I can't resist the odd chase.
Back outside the walled garden you'll find delightful paths and scenery in the many acres which you are free to explore. We later returned to the entrance to collect the manual wheelchair, but having tried it on the cobbles, it wasn't going too well, so I elected to return to my power chair and see the ground floor of the house. It wouldn't fit in the lift so I didn't get to see the upper floor. At the end you can see from my still pictures just how beautiful it is. I hope you've enjoyed my video. The day was brilliant, and helped to reset my headspace after what has seemed to be a very long winter, and a slow return to better weather. As always, I continue the fight against my MND and will produce more videos throughout the year. I hope you'll return to see them. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the button at the end, to ensure you don't miss any. Take care.